purpose of this video is to show you how to set up the Baxter Cycler. Here are the supplies that you need. The Cycler, cassette, mini caps, not the cap, clean towels, Purell, very important, the dienyl solution that you need. Also, we're using an um, extra needle today, so it's a separate bag. A red can to put the drainage in. And of course, before you start, the most important thing is to wash your hands very well with soap and water. When you start, turn on the cycler. The switch is on the back. Take the cassette and put it on top of the cycler so that it warms it up. After washing your hands, press go on the cycler. The display will say load the set. You will be able to open the cycler door. The next step is to inspect the cassette, check the expiration date, open the bag, Place the cassette in its holder inside the door of the cycler and close the door. Hang the blue organizer on the cycler door. Start by the longer opening on top. Push down to click it in place. Now close all six clamps. If any of the tubing come out of the organizer, just replace them where they should be. If these fall on the ground, you stop what you're doing and start again. Press go on the machine. It'll be self-testing. This takes about three minutes. During this time, inspect the bag. This is a five liter bag. Make sure you have the right concentration. The expiration date is in the lower right hand corner. The solution is clear. The bag has not been tampered with. You can use this bag. The extra needle bag is different. The expiry date is on top, not on the bottom, and the, the strength is written right underneath extra needle 7.5%. Once the self-testing is complete, the display will say connect bags, open the clamps. During this time, you will take the first dye nail bag and place it on the heater. You will take the drain line, which is the first one on your right. That line, you pull the tab and put it through in the red can. After using Purell, hold the red line, pull the tab with your pinky, hold the bag, pull the tab, and connect the two ends together. Twist and turn. Now you're going to connect the supply bag to the first white line. The second white clamp is only used if the program is big enough and it's required. In this case, it's not. We're going to use the blue clamp as we're setting up an extra needle. So connect the bag. Make sure not to contaminate any of the ends. If anything touches the ends, you throw everything out and start again. Break all seals on the bags. Open clamps connected to bags. Open the white clamp on the patient line. Press go and the priming will start. Once the priming is complete, it takes about five to 10 minutes. The display will say connect yourself, check patient line. Close the white clamp on the patient line. The cycler is now ready to be used. 
This setup must be used within 12 hours of setup.